Hello, this is Royer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 2022 as we continue our worst to first run with Williams Racing. And we're up to race number three in our fifth season overall. Currently in second place by only three points, though. Um, we are starting to get a little bit of separation between us and the next team down. Very little, though, because again, this season, the points are practically microscopic compared to what they were last season. So it's going to be a tough season with that in mind. Uh, overall, our drivers, we still got Theo as number one, and Jack Duhan down here in number four. Um, but yeah, that is the situation as it stands. I'm still trying to decide if I if we just need to boot Jack Duhan off of here and switch to Oliver. I could we do that if we if we were to come in here and go to contract, and we were to renew his contract and move him down to reserve. But see, we can't do that, right? Because Or does it does this just sw swap them? Would this just swap them? I don't know. But I'm very tempted to give Oliver his chance, and I don't know how to go about that, because uh, obviously Jack Jack struggles. Jack Jack has been struggling for a while now. He might potentially be what cost us last season. You know, uh, let's see the first season, first race of this season, he was eighth, and then the second race we just had, he was sixth so not doing well i mean theo theo is doing all right i think we need to count on theo i don't want to put i don't want to have more than one aggressive driver in here i don't think i think that would be kind of problematic it would be weird to give to drop our best driver down for someone like oliver i, I suppose but i just feel like jack has struggled more than we can continue for um Okay, let me do this. I'm going to do something because just because I don't know how it works. This is not a, I don't think this would be a safe scumming thing. This is just a, I don't know how this works and I don't want to make a mistake because of that lack of understanding. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and if we did it the other way around and we renewed Oliver's contract instead, would this be better? Would this work better? His current salary is 408. I mean, if he gets top, honestly, if he gets top five, if he's one slot better than the best that Jack Dunn has, has done this season, I mean, I'd give him a bonus for that. I just don't know what happens to Jack here. I mean, he's fine with everything except the salary and I don't know how much that salary he wants to go up so let's try this again oh uh, cancel sorry nope um oh no it's accepted I'm sorry I read that wrong so what does this mean cost to break contract 37 okay see we're breaking Jack's contract I just want to swap them <laughs> you know um I mean, this doesn't hurt us because obviously we've already got the driver's championship. I mean, it would be nice to get it again because why not? But Jack is not going to be the one getting it, I don't think. You know what? It's time to give Oliver a chance. Let's shake some things up. We've, we we know we're going to keep uh, Theo. I think Theo is our better driver. I mean, he won the driver's championship last year. We saw that, obviously. Jack has won a lot of stuff, though. Like, he's not bad. He just makes a lot of mistakes. Now, is Oliver going to make less mistakes? I don't know. Um, but it looks like this one is actually accepted. So we're going to... We're going to go with this. It's going to cost us something to break that. I'm just going to see what this does. And I assume we don't have a reserve driver now. Yeah, we don't have that. And can we go get, can we go get Doohan now? Um, I mean, he probably is mad at us. He wouldn't come back, right? And we want you to be reserve. I'm sure we'll give you a little bit of a bonus just to, I mean, thank you for your service, you know. So he absolutely would not. Okay, so then that's fine. Um, man, it's unfortunate to lose Jack. 
but I just feel like he's made so many mistakes. He's just not, he's just not doing great, you know? Bring Vettel in as a, <laughs> as a reserve driver. I don't know if that's what we're looking for. I mean, is this a mistake? Should we have, should we just stuck it out? Who's this Jack Crawford guy? I have no idea who this guy is. Um... Got high growth potential. 20 years old. I mean, would you be willing to be a reserve driver in a League One since you're currently in League Two? Well, I'll just give you three seasons. You know, I'll give you a couple hundred thousand bucks. I have no idea. I mean, he may be completely insulted by all of this. Says yes to reserve. He does not like the salary. Uh, contract. Does he want a longer contract? All right. Well, let's give him a give him a five year contract, and let's just bump this up to four fifty, which I think is about where some of the other guys were at their as their reserves, right? Oh, he accepted the contract though. He's going to retire soon. He's 20 years old, right? Did I, did, I, did I not read that correctly? The guy's 20 years old. Uh, but no, let's go for it. Let's get this guy on here. Get us a new backup. Give him some chance. Did I read his age wrong? Yeah, 20 years age. Okay, I'm not, I'm not completely blind. Uh, all right, cool. You know what? Why not? I just wanted to shake some stuff up this season a little bit more than I had. Maybe I should have done this from the beginning. Uh, truth be told, I, had, I really just wanted to swap them around, but I, I couldn't find a way to do that. If you guys know a way to do that, and you, you probably already commented because I'm actually recording these in advance because why not? I can't stop playing. Um, if you guys already know how to how to do that, feel free to let me know uh, what I could have done differently. But honestly, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, this new guy, he's all right. I mean, he's going to be fine as a reserve. I don't know what a reserve does then. If you can't swap them, what's the point of a reserve? Just somebody you can develop up that, I guess, as soon as one of these guys wants to stop driving for you, they can eventually bring him up, maybe? Uh, is that all it is? Uh, Oliver does have a point that we can give out, so let's go ahead and give that out. We're going to give him some uh, adaptability. Bumps him up to a 78. Hey, look at that. Perfect timing. He's only one rating point behind where Jack was. We're going to find out if Oliver is a better driver for us. Um, all right, so car stuff. What are we looking at for car development? We've got a front wing coming up in three days. And then a rear wing in seven days. The next uh, race is in 11 days. So both of those will be available uh, for this next race, which is awesome. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead and continue. A couple sponsorship uh, uh, obligations. There is our front wing right there. All of our contract renewed. We're paying him very little, but hey, if he works out, we could always give him a bump, bump later. I'm okay with that. All right, time to manufacture a new front wing. How much of a difference is this? I mean, right now we're second on the uh, circuit, and this puts us back into first. Cool. We'll see if that that's that helps us. Uh, and we need these in eight days. We need at least two within the next eight days. Technically, actually, we want four before race time. It looks like we could potentially rush this. I'm going to go ahead and just do rushed. Even if this fourth one doesn't come out, the likelihood that we're going to need two front wings on during the race weekend is low, but I think this still would come out before the actual race itself, maybe? We'll find out. But I think this is okay. All right, and then we need to go back and design. And are we still doing front wings? I mean, I think we're going to do front wing, rear wing, and underfloor, like, nonstop. And then the suspension chassis and side pods will just kind of float around and kind of fit in there as needed. So we got 50 days for the design, and this thing is 32 days long. I believe even with engineers, we will need to put hours into this. So let's go ahead and lock that in. And that looks pretty good. Um, and we're going to continue with low speed performance because I believe that is... I mean, I could just do it optimized aerodynamics. Just it's very balanced. But I kind of want to keep developing what we're going to be good at. Uh, let me show the values here. 
So we're going from a two, for, for example, the low speed, 2668 to a 2681. I mean, this is still a pretty big improvement while also improving high speed by honestly a pretty significant margin. But that also improves it. I mean, no matter how we do this, it improves it, right? Top speed goes from uh, goes up by 0 0.01 kilometers per hour in both situations. We can start optimizing cooling, <laughs> but I don't think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm just going to stick with the low speed performance for this. I think this is fine. We're gaining, we're gaining gains across the board. Uh, we're just getting bigger gains for the low speed, which is what the front wing is there for. All right, keep on with the intense research. Um, this will be done in 42 days. So that looks good. And we'll have the front wing here momentarily. Low stock for a few things, but once we get the front wing, we'll be fine. Everything else is, is going to be okay as well. All right, there's our rear wing design. Let's go build that out. I'm assuming we're going to have to emergency one of these, at least. We get one out in three days. We get two out in four days. Again, is this um, is this the weekend or is this the race itself? I always forget what it actually is referring to. Uh, where did I say the calendar? Down here. Nope, can't go there. Let's go back to here. So we're here. Race. Actual race day is not till the 5th. So no, yeah. This is just the beginning of the race weekend. So I think that means that we can manufacture the two rear wings and rush them, but not actually have to do any sort of emergency stuff. Actually bumps us up to third for acceleration. Still keeps us at only third for top speed though. But uh, actually the acceleration doesn't change. So I don't know how it's bumping us up to third for acceleration, but um, I mean, still an improvement, right? So we're gonna keep going with this. Stay the course for now. And uh, then we're gonna go back and design some more rear wings. Uh, same thing, though uh, we do need to go and use the rest of the hours here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do high speed stuff. Actually bumps us up to first for DRS and second for top speed and acceleration. So go in the correct direction. That's what we want to see. All right. Got that plugged in, and I think next up will be the race. Well, we got to put on some parts here, but we'll get that here in a minute. Okay, there's our rear wing manufacturer completed. Good stuff. Let's go get our car set up. So, front wing. Install on car one, install on car two. And then rear wing. Install, install. Uh, how are we looking now? on our analysis. So grid average, I mean, we're, yeah, first, first, and then some thirds. Which team is beating us? I'm assuming it's gonna be uh, probably Red Bull. It's first, okay, yeah. I mean, we're way ahead of them on cornering, which is awesome to see. They're first place from brake cooling and engine cooling. Again, probably pointing to us doing something wrong there, but you know, we'll play it out for now. Um, And then who, uh, what is it, would it be? Maybe Ferrari would be second? No. Uh, Mercedes? No. Who is second on top speed? Oh, no, no. I, I know what it is. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being dumb. Uh, it's Red Bull car number two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I always forget that it... I'm, I'm looking at the team, and I always forget that it's like... It's not counting both cars. Um, or, I mean, it is... Both cars are in that list, and I'm just thinking of it being the team itself. All right. Good stuff. Looking pretty good. really good on all this. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with the direction we're going right now. We're staying ahead on, again, in the cornering, which is very important. I really do want to get that, you know, acceleration and top speed up higher. So hopefully we can get that. We do have a underfloor coming soon, which is going to be um, a big part of that. And 
and we get to see Oliver for the first time. We will find out how how dumb of a thing we just did. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and reach Q3 with both drivers, I think. And we're going to say we both drivers reach Q2. I think it's worth worth the risk on both of those. Do the race weekend. First race weekend, race weekend with our new driver. Um, we will go ahead and uh, we're going to replace Jack as the, as the practice guy, just get him some more development. Um, Oliver, I mean, I think Theo's our number one, right? So he's definitely our number one. So we want to keep him in here, get him as many points as possible. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, car parts. Okay. So engine. I mean, at this point, I guess this becomes our practice engine for now. ERS doesn't really matter that much. We'll leave this one on there as the practice ERS gearbox. 84. We'll leave the 84 on there, and that looks good. Yep, that all looks good. Let's pull up our calculator. We're in Australia now. All right, car setup. We want to be at 8.0, 13, 7 to 3, 3 to 1 stays, and then 0.55. Looks good. Uh, Overstair is close, but still within the line, so we're good there. Let's practice. All right, 97%. All right, you went 8, 13, 7, 3, 3, 1, 4, 5. And that got you two optimals. Great. And two more optimals. All right, you want to go 8, 13, 7, 3, 3, 1, 5. And 0.55 again. Try that. Uh, other car, let me get you set up. All right, you went 8, 13, 7, 3, 3, 0, 5, 0, 4, 5. And that got you an optimal, two greats, only a good, and then an optimal. All right, 6 to 4, 3, 1, 5, 0, 5, 5. Looks good. Let's go. The way to show up, Oliver. Good job. I mean, it's just practice, but you know, I mean, if we're like dead last in practice with not the worst engines and stuff like that, and I'll put on there, that's a little bit concerning, you know. And if we're first place, you know, that even if it doesn't, you know, that doesn't bode necessarily a lot for the for the real race, but it's, it's it means we're pretty fast, you know. I mean, I'm I'm taking it with a grain of salt, but there is a big difference between first in practice and last in practice. That's guess what I'm trying to say. All right. You still at 97%, huh? Uh, 8, 13, 7, 3, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0.30. And that got you, same thing. Optimals sandwiching a great in the middle. All right, there are two possible setups. Right, with that, you're at 93. 70 or 70 I should say 130 3 to 2 or sorry 2 8 to 2 310.35 and that got you all greats okay well at least we know which direction to go with the optimals and we've made some progress on the traction I say there's not going to be that many setups left there's only four setups left and then 0.20 Go with that. Last practice. Let's get this done. I mean, Oliver, he's up there. 
And we got him a good car, so, I mean, at this point, it just comes down to the driver itself, right? Yeah, we're missing a little bit of the parts knowledge, but that's all right. At least we got all the points we can get for with both of the guys. Because we're only expecting 14 points with the, uh, Oliver anyway. Uh, okay, so let's change out the parts now. Go with, I guess we'll go with the brand new engine. Just keep going with the best engine every time. We'll go with a good ERS. And we'll go with the brand new gearbox down here. I think I, I, think I changed my strategy last race, but I don't think it matters. At the end of the day, we just want to get the best part we can that's not already taking some uh, some negatives on it. Technically, we could have kept the ERS on it. It would not have made a difference. Actually, you know, that's what it was. I did say that, right? As long as the ERS is above the mark, we want to use that ERS, I think. And the reason for that is because if they crash, I don't want them crashing with the brand new part. Okay, so I think we are going to go ahead and stick with that strategy, which does mean... As long as we're above 60%, we're going to stick with this. Assuming that that math is right, that, that, that threshold is right. If those thresholds are telling the truth, then it should be perfectly fine to put these, you know, 70 something percent gearboxes on there. No issues whatsoever, right? Um, Because again, crashes, we don't want to, we don't want to lose parts from crashes, which we have unfortunately quite a bit. All right, 100% confidence with both. Everything looks good. Let's start qualifying. I mean, eighth for Oliver. I mean, that's kind of where, where uh, Duhan was, so. I don't know that it's... I don't. He's not any better at the moment, but he's also maybe not any worse. Ah, there we go. He actually jumped up ahead of Theo on that one. I think Theo just had a bad bad run we obviously know what he's capable of we are still way behind the red bull cars like how are we that much slower there we go oliver look at that third so oliver's capable of doing some stuff all right we'll see what happens here pretty excited to get into this see our new driver continue developing our cars all right, let's go look at the race info. So two main DRS zones. One of them is a double. Um, so as we, we can get close here and then pass them there and then get further ahead and hope that we can push a gap before we get it back into a DRS. Chance, it's not super easy because there's not a lot of curves here. Usually we can do, do some good passing around curves. We'll see what happens here. Um, and then as far as the compounds, pretty big difference between soft and hards. I could see softs being a play here. But they're not. Interesting. Really? I mean, yeah, I mean, absolutely. We want to do a double pit here. That, that's pretty aggressive on the tires. We do not want to go that low. I mean, there is an argument to be made that you'd still be so far ahead because of the pit strategy or because because you're only pitting once that you could limp across the line and be fine. But I think we'll go with something like this. And do we want to just put on some softs here? Uh, no, they're just... Are they really that drained? What? Uh, let's see if we can get it any better. No, it's just better to do the mediums. It's that too, too far drain, I guess. All right, that's fine. Let's get you locked in. Something like that, maybe? Minus one. Oh, something like that. Any rain? I didn't even check. Nope, no rain. Um, I think something like that's going to be fine. Can technically get a little bit more if we go hard on the medium or on the hards. Hard on the hards. Uh, go a little bit more aggressive on the hards, and we'll take a couple seconds off. So something like that I think looks really good. Yep, I like that. I think. Uh, then you are going to basically be doing the same thing. So we're going to run in here. Uh, maybe the only difference being we just may slightly adjust your timings a bit. Something like that, maybe? Uh, there we go. We'll try that. Uh, if, they're, if they're around the same time, it's going to be okay. We can, we can delay one versus the other. 
you're at 19 and 39. You're at 20, and we should probably should change you to 40. As long as, as, long as that's not going to hurt anything. Uh, it technically adds a second, really. We delay you by one more lap. Can we still? We can't, still can't push you out. Weird. All right, we're going to do this. Um, again, we can delay once we get actually in the race. I'm not too worried about that. All right, driver options. Uh, let's just plug these in. Again, I still go back and forth on whether overtake or um, full deploy in the first, at the beginning of the race is better, but <laughs> I haven't quite decided. I, I, I want to believe that overtake when you're behind cars, like right behind cars, is better. So that way you can time it time it at the right spot. And then when you're in open air, deploy is better. So that's that's what I want to believe. So that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. My, my desires of what I want to believe may not line up with reality, though. <laughs> All right, Oliver. What you got, buddy? I think his name should probably be Beerman. Beer, like something like that. But we're going to call him Bearman. The Bearman. I don't know. We'll just call him Oliver. <laughs> Oliver and Theo. Those are very... Those are very kind of like... I don't know. What is that? It's like... Those are like very aristocratic names, you know? Oliver and Theo. I don't know. I'm being weird. Um, let's go ahead and watch Oliver here. See what he can do, buddy. Show me... Show me it was worth bringing you in here for my friend. In before he crashes on the first lap. He's a similar driver to Doohan. He's very aggressive, but he does obviously have strengths and weaknesses in, in other places than what Doohan had. So we'll see how that. I mean, he's gonna, which does mean he's he's gonna race differently, right? Like it's it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm just hoping the aggression doesn't come and bite us in the rear end like it did for Doohan all the time. I mean, look at there. That's some good passing there. And actually, right now is what we want to do and put him on full deploy. Let him push this as far as he possibly can. Theo's currently making some moves. Very, very nice moves. Uh, we're coming across the line. All right. So how do we want to do this? We can be a little aggressive here. We're going to go ahead and go in just down to aggressive. We might be able to keep aggressive for a couple laps. Um, and here comes Theo. We'll do the same thing with him. We can go aggressive maybe for a couple laps. We're going to keep heavy on the fuel for now. See if we can push this at all before we get into any sort of... Uh, ERS zone. Unfortunately, Theo is not back, back down to six now. Oliver looking good, though. Looking good. I mean, we are pushing him really, really hard right now. So take that with a grain of salt, I suppose. But looking really good. He's still got a little bit more ERS to gain, so we're going to keep him pushing here. Um, all right. Now, as of right now, he's already gained everything he can. We're going to put him back on neutral at 27%. Same thing with Theo here in a moment. That's everything he's got. Right there, probably. Put him back on neutral. Okay, Oliver stretched out to us over a second, but we know how good Red Bull is. They're going to close that gap again. So, no doubts about that, especially once we drop this down again, because obviously we cannot realistically keep that going. I will keep the the, the medium or the uh, aggressive stance here going. We're just going to drop back on the fuel for now. Obviously, ERS should be activated, I would assume. Yeah, there, or DRS. I keep saying ERS. DRS is activated now. All right, let's go watch Theo. Let Oliver run his race for now. I do, again, expect Red Bull will catch him, but that is what it is. You know, there's not much we can do about that. All right, about to get a DRS zone right now. Nice. While we're in DRS, we're going to go ahead and start harvesting with Theo and start prepping for a hopeful passing moment here in a bit. And again, they're already catching uh, Oliver now. And they already caught him. There you go. Back in, <laughs> back on his tail again. All right, we're going to drop down to standard. And of course, now we drop them down to standard. They for sure will catch him now. But it was fun to uh, to try to get as much of a lead as we can. Sometimes we can break that. Sometimes we can start getting that two seconds and start pushing faster and faster each time. In this case, we just weren't able to. So 
long as we're getting DRS, we're going to keep it. There you go. They already passed him. That's so quick. It only took a couple laps to pass him. But he's up in there in the mix now, and he can start harvesting as well. Red Bull gained a place. As long as within, a within the DRS, I'm going to keep him on harvest. Be ready to do a good pass here in a little bit. Although, truth be told, I, I, had to, I, I think it's okay to go very aggressive early on as far as just once the race starts. But based on some comments I read on the uh, on the videos, and there were some, some points that were pretty well made, the fact that the track rubber is not very high might lead me to want to be a little bit more... Um, cautious in the first you know half of the race until the track rubber really starts to build up i mean you see me got an exclamation mark there that's i mean it's basically telling me look you don't have everything you got you don't have all your stickiness that you're looking for so i think we just leave him on a little bit more of a basic run for the first big chunk of the race and we really save all of our big pushing until until the last half of the race or something like that well we'll see what that does for us Uh oh, Oliver is starting to drop back a bit more now. I mean, we are still harvesting. So that's a big part of it. Once we go back to neutral, he should be fine again. Oh, there he goes. He get back in second spot. Good job. Uh, hey, the race can end like this right here. I'll take second place behind Mercedes with Red Bull behind me. <laughs> okay with that. Uh, let's actually let you harvest a little bit more here. Okay, we go put you on neutral for a bit. Technically, I would like a little bit more harvest, but that's this is going to be fine. And then as far as the track rubber, can we see like a prediction of when the track rubber gets to a good spot? Uh, it's going to be very low for a while. With the track grip only normal. Lap times, chance of incidents. I mean, the track grip does say normal. I mean, to be fair, that's orange. We'll keep an eye on it, though. I'm, I'm, I may be around lap... 10, 15, something like that. We'll, we'll take a look at this again. Just to see, kind of try to play into that strategy a bit more than we have been. I mean, as long as it says normal, maybe maybe it is still okay, but... There is an argument to be made that if a bunch of our crashes happen and when the track rubber is low, that could be part of what's playing into that, you know? I don't like the fact that Theo is not closing this gap here on these guys. Oliver back in first place. Obviously, that's only temporary. All right, we're going to go ahead and just fast forward a little bit here. I don't think there's any reason to stick around while we're just kind of playing tag with these guys <laughs> for more or less. We're really just kind of, you know, going back and forth here. Not a lot going on. I mean, this first eight are finally separating themselves. Excuse me. Um, which is, you know... Always good to see, you know, less competition for us up there. A couple of those guys are the Ferrari guys, so that is interesting. All right, we're now we're up, we're up 11. Still very low on the track rubber, so we're just going to stay the course. Starting to get a little bit of separation with 7th and 8th now. Back to some positive fuel. The fuel on this track, at least for Beerman, Mr. Oliver over here is, he's apparently, he's barely good with the fuel. That is a good thing to see. That means we can potentially push a bit more later in the race. Or now, you know, kind of burns off some some weight. There you go. He gets it back again. So they're just gonna they're just gonna go back and forth here, it looks like. With Theo really just kind of hanging back there. Not really making any gains at all. But, you know, that's alright. A lot's gonna change with the pits anyway, so there's really not you know, not much we can do until then. We're about to be in the pit window for Theo. Wow. Were you in, were you in reds? We can't see that now, but... You had to have been. Well, maybe not. How are you down at 23% on mediums? How are you down at... Did y'all just crash? Y'all had to have crashed, right? Yeah, we're, getting, we're, getting, we're yellow now. Safety car. Okay, full-on safety car. Hmm. Maybe we should... I guess he knew about that. Maybe, maybe it would have been a good time for us to pit as well. I was not paying attention to that. I, think there's been contact on the track. Uh, I mean, we're definitely going to open the pit for Theo and go ahead and get him pit in now. Because we're we're in his pit window. And truth be told, we're within Pyramid's pit window as well. 
but we really don't want to pin them both at the same time. How much of a gap is there here? One second, 1 1.3 seconds. Our pit stops are usually two something seconds. If we pit now, we're going to lose a, at least a full second on Theo's positioning. Not Theo, sorry, Beerman's positioning. Well, it would be Theo's because Beerman would come in first. That, that, that's why I was right the first time. Um, Beerman. I don't want to keep saying Beerman. I think it is Beerman. Beer would be EE, -E, right? Maybe? Oliver. Oliver. I got to say Oliver. Um, but save, losing a second now versus gaining a whole bunch of time later when we don't have to pit usually feels like it's a pretty good idea. Because if we wait until after the yellow card to pit, we lose a lot more time, right? I think we double pit. I know people are probably screaming at the, the, the ceiling or screaming at the screen saying this is dumb, but we're in a safety car. I think we still pit double double pit with a safety car going on. I don't think we're going to lose so much time that we can't just get it right back again, I guess is my point. Let's go watch Theo, because he'll be able to watch both of them. There's Oliver right there. Come on, make it a quick pit stop. Okay, he got there about 1.2 seconds. 2.7 seconds is not great. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, I didn't realize you had to wait until he left the pits. I don't know why I never noticed that before. I still think it's going to be okay. Um, Oliver only dropped down to fourth. And Theo's going to drop down to, what, eighth, ninth here? Eighth? I think that's fine. I think we're still okay for this. Now we did we did break our strategy here. We'll have to re reassess that here in a moment. Now he w ultimately went down to tenth, but these other guys didn't pit, so we will gain on them just anyway. Both good, better tires, and the fact that they will have to pit at some point. None of these guys pit as well. No, I think we're going to, okay. I think this is actually going to be fine. We're all stacked up now on better tires. And Oliver can just push the entire rest of the race at this point. Track rubber's still very low, though. We need to take that into account. Uh, now it's up to low. A little bit better. Maybe it's worth pushing a little bit with fresh tires here in a minute. Um, let's go back down to two. Back to Oliver. Watch that. Watch that safety car. All right, did they already kick off? Um, we want to go full attack. We're going to go full push. And we're going to go full, I guess at this point, overtake. We're going to count on our better tires to kind of give us a good, a good push here. Come on, good, good pass, good pass. Come on, go, 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 go. Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Good job. I think, maybe, almost. He's not stopped quite, quite, I thought I got it yet. I'm maybe getting ahead of myself, but. And a new position All right. Just gained by Theo pushing up as well. Really draining the uh, RS quite a bit, but we're about to get a reset on it, so I'm going to keep pushing for now. Um... We're just going to drop down to aggressive. Keep the fuel pushing a little bit longer. And we're about to drain out this, but we still got so much we can recharge. So I'm going to keep it going for just a little bit longer. Maybe it's crazy. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, we've drained as much as we can. So we got to go back to neutral. Um, we've, get, uh, we've recharged as much as we can is what I'm trying to say. All right, same thing with you. We might, we might be flooring, you know, bottoming out at this point, but... I think it was worth trying to get as much on this as we can. I 
And once DRS kicks back on, we'll start harvesting again. Yeah, so there we were. Not by much, though. We're not botting them out by much, so I think we'll be all right. We just need to get a little bit of harvest here in a bit once DRS kicks back on, and I think we'll be fine. Do we want to keep pushing? Okay, we need to check our strategy now. Strategy, let's check this. Um, you're... Oh, you're actually in your strategy, so you're actually going to be fine. Uh, you're even way up here because of how long the, the yellow lasted. So we can keep you on an aggressive strategy if we want to. You, however, did mess up your strategy, but it should be easy to uh, to fix. Six. No, oh, something like that. Uh, we do want to go aggressive here, sorry. So that will change things. 27. Something like that. We're going to update to that. And at least we're back on a strategy now. And you're actually going to be pitting quite a bit earlier than Theo, it looks like, based on this. We might not stay aggressive the whole time, but at least it's a start. All right. DRS is back enabled. So now that DRS is enabled, we're going to wait till we get into our DRS zone. And then we will start harvesting, although now Oliver's in first place. I mean, Theo's moved up two spots since his pit. All right, we're about to start triggering uh, DRS, so we'll start harvesting now with you. Oliver, I mean, he'll get past here in a minute, and we'll just start harvesting once he does. I'm going to put you back on... Well, we'll, we'll have to cross the starting line. All right, let's put you back on balance. Oh, I think I already did. Um, we're going to put you on balance as well. We're also going to put you on standard. I know I have it in the strategy to push with the, the hard tires. I kind of want to wait a little bit until we can um, get a little bit more of the track grip on here. Or track rubber, just to make sure we're still good. Oliver's staying in the lead right now. And maybe I'm overthinking this. It's possible. But uh, I think it was a suggestion worth trying, you know? Wait to push till later. I mean, I think, what, I don't know. That's a bad thing. As long as we're still up here in the mix, then I think we're going to be fine. Oliver's staying ahead. I'm impressed with that. He's got so much fuel, so much weight. It's a lot of weight. I mean, at this level. I mean, at this point where every, every ounce counts, right? Every... Every gram, kilogram, you know, whatever it counts. Um, it, uh... Oh, you gotta start pushing a little bit more, my friend. You are starting to draw back. All right, we'll go ahead and push you up to an aggressive stance just for a little bit, see if we can get you back within, like, the 600... Or 6 milliseconds. 6... What I'm trying to say. 6 tenths of a second is what I'm trying to say. All right, that's good. Oliver's still in the lead. People around him are pitting, so that's helping a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now he's passed. They're getting another fastest lap. Good job, buddy. On a harvest, for the most part. Crazy. Moved up a place. Track rubber's still low. Track grip's still normal. Tire's still looking all right. Probably last lap to harvest with Theo, and then we'll figure out if we want to start making some moves yet, or just be patient. I mean, come on, in every every racing movie you see, you, you always got the guy on the sidelines saying, not yet, not yet, not yet, you know? <laughs> Apparently, patience in racing is supposed to be a good thing, right? I mean, if, if you can believe the movies. <laughs> All right, let's put you back on neutral. And there's an overtake from uh, we did, he did pass while on harvest. I'm going to keep him on harvest for now, though. I'm going to go ahead and finish this out. Um, at least the top five here are in a big group group by themselves so we're reducing the number of other people now it could be possible that some of the other guys that are behind us are only single pitting if that's the case then good on them i guess i 
All right, I don't know if there's much we can do here. Let's just, just kind of speed along here. I'm not I'm not going to try and make any pushes just yet. We're going to be patient. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. All right, uh, Beerman dropping down to... I'll keep, I'm going to say Beerman from now on. I apologize if that's, if that's the wrong thing. Oliver dropping down to third place. Track rubber's still low. This group still looking good. Actually, this group's pushing. This group's actually putting a gap now. Uh-oh, now our drivers are competing with each other, which I don't like. I don't like that at all. But not much we can do while we're being patient. And a new position. Still Just a lot of race left. Theo actually starting to make some moves. Good job, buddy. Oh, I didn't realize you're still forgot you were still on harvest. I mean it's fine. You, we wanted you to be maxed out, but we could have I think we could have pushed that up a little bit a lap earlier. Not too hard too much harm there. You'll be able to get some of that back. Now Theo's back up in a second. Truth be told, I do expect Theo to be the one that leads this because just consistently over the course of the entire race, I think he is the better driver than Oliver. All right, track grip is now high. Track rubber is still low, but track grip is high. That tells me that we can start pushing. That tells me we can start pushing. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Do we want to start with Oliver? Or do we start with Theo? I think we start with Theo. He can stay ahead out of this next... Well, he's got to get through both these DRSs. That's a big gauntlet to get through. But if he can stay ahead, we might do a full deploy on that after that. Let's see if he can start putting some space between him and the next guys. I mean, Verstappen's down here in 17th place, but he also just got his fastest, the fastest lap of the entire group, so that tells us that he's he's in a very fast car. If Red Bull passes me here, then we will wait till next lap so that we can do a pass on him before we kick it off. But if he stays behind us, which it looks like he will. Uh, yeah, he's behind us. In fact, uh, Mercedes passed him. All right, let's go ahead and kick it on a full attack, full push, full deploy and see if it's... It, I don't think it's possible, but if it's at all possible for Theo to put a gap here, that would be huge. We are getting spins. That's We got to take that into account because if, if other teams are spinning then there's always a chance that we could have an issue, even with high track grip. All right, so I don't think he put enough in of a gap here, unfortunately. No, not even close. Can he do anything in this back part? I don't think so. I just don't think we can put enough of a gap on this track. I don't think, I think this track is just one that we're just going to have to accept that we're not going to be able to do anything with. I'm going to keep him on full deploy here to see what he can do with one more lap. He's a little bit further ahead this time, then maybe he can do more in this back half than he did last time. It's just too hard. It's just not enough, not enough curves back there to kind of break, you know, get some good acceleration coming out of them. So that's all right. We tried. Um, we're going to go drop it down to... Uh, with track grip being high, I'm okay with going aggressive here and we'll go back down to balanced. Uh, Beerman, I'm going to keep saying that. I apologize. Oliver is going to, um, with track, green, crap, track grip being high, and he's got a lot of fuel, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm also going to go ahead and put him on overtake. See if he can get any sort of passing here for a couple laps, and then we'll probably have him harvest to um, be ready to hit the ground running after he gets his last set of tires. But if he can get anything here before, before we pit, in fact, honestly, we can go full on attack with him. All right, so Mercedes did pass this. That's fine. Let's go back to Harvest and just get a little bit more back before we have to pit here in a bit as well. It's a race position gained from All right, Ol uh, Oliver just passed. He's up in fourth now. Good stuff there. And there's an overtake from Williams. Oliver looking okay back there. Good pass here from Theo, as you would expect. All right, Oliver, eh, he does as much as he could. He couldn't get quite get past uh, Red Bull. We're going to go ahead and start him back on Harvest just because I want to make sure he's full on with fresh tires and can really, really punch it once he comes out here in another lap or so. Um, I'm actually going to keep him Harvest a, a little bit longer here. I know he's capping out, but I want to make sure he doesn't burn too much during this lap, and then we can go neutral after that. 
he's going to be all right uh, on that. I mean, he's pushing so much here that he'll be able to stay close to those other guys. Track rubber's normal. Track grip high now. Oh, it was already high, right? That's right. We've said that. But the track rubber changing is, is the difference. Mercedes moved up a place. All right, so now we can go back to neutral for this full lap. We are... Are we going to pitch it yet? Honestly, we might keep you going for just a little bit longer on these tires. Temperature's getting a little bit high a few spots, but I think he'll be all right. I do want to pit him soon for those better tires, but for right now, we got a lot left in these. All right, um, let's put you on neutral for now. Probably next lap we pit him. We don't have to wait to get us all the way down to 40, but we'll be in a good, I think, a good spot there. Now we're getting really hot. Let's go ahead and drop you down to uh, aggressive. Um, but we will plan on pitting you after you cross the line this next time. Oliver up in third place. Racing a good race. Once we get down to 0.3 kilograms, I want to drop him down to normal again because I want to make sure we have plenty to push with once we get the fresh tires. Are we still doing on temperature? Temperature's come down a bit, so we're good there. Alright, let's go ahead and put you on balanced. And let's plan your pit now. We got a lot of extra life out of those hards, so that's pretty good. Which means we're going to be able to push the mediums a bit more in this last bit. Yeah, you're still good there. How are you doing on tire temperatures and stuff? Tire, your tire temperatures are great. Truth be told, this is your pit time as well, so... Let's go ahead and just go in full attack here, just, just to get something here. Um, just because we know we have a little bit of extra temperature in there. And then once you cross the line next, you will schedule your pit. And that'll be it for the race. Now, how, how are these other guys doing? Okay, looks like all these other guys, I would assume, are going to pit. I can't imagine... Well, I say that. There's always a chance. I've seen crazier things happen. Now, Verstappen down here, I think, is done with his pits. I think he's, he's done. I, don't, I think these other guys will have to pit, though, at some point. I could be wrong. Like I said, I've seen them do crazy things before. Tire temperatures get a little bit high, but I think we'll be all right. Once we cross the line here, we'll probably put you back into uh, just an aggressive stance here, and we'll go ahead and schedule your pit as well. Come back out on your mediums, please, and let's go. Let's go watch Oliver here, see what he does, or see how the pit crew does. Come on, 2.6, 2.6, ah. A little too early in the season, I guess, for 2.6s. All right, he did come out ahead of Verstappen, though. That's that's big, right? And should be several seconds ahead of this guy group, although they are storming down right now on the straightaway. Uh, so he definitely has his work cut out for him to stay ahead of these guys. We're going to go ahead and full push, and we're going to go full deploy here. Can he stay ahead? They caught within 1.8 seconds, so they're right behind him. As long as he can stay ahead of DRS, maybe. We'll see. Looks like he'll be fine. Can he catch up with this other group? Alright, let's go watch Theo in his pit stop. Ah, Red Bull pitting behind us. Can we get out ahead of them? I doubt it, because they're very good. 2.8, and there's no way. Yeah, he's ahead of us now. I was going to say, there's no way. <laughs> That's unfortunate. No possible way. Not, not Red Bull. They're too good. Alright. Uh, Oliver just flew past us, which does mean this group's right on our tails. In fact, it would not surprise me if they pass us coming out of this, which would be unfortunate. We're going to be able to stay ahead. We are going to be able to stay ahead and enough of a gap. Nope, not quite. Can we push this here in this back end? Um, you need to drop down to aggressive. I'm going to keep you heavy there and we'll keep you on the deploy for a little bit longer. Uh, I'm assuming you came out on mediums. You did. But you're going to have better mediums right now than what we have uh, in Oliver. Can we pass you here, though? No, we're going to be right on your tail. 
All right, let's go back to an overtake. Because obviously, we're going to be riding his tail. It's going to be problematic. Uh, we're going to go to neutral. We might have pushed it too low. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and drop you down to standard, and we're going to drop you down to balanced. Can you continue to catch those guys while on a lower mode? Guess we'll find out. Good pass there. You need to drop down to aggressive. Stay where you're at on that. We're going to go ahead and full deploy now. Um, I mean, I want Beerman to... Why do I keep saying... I, I'm going to say that forever, because it's stuck in my head. We want Oliver to, uh... Get a little bit of Horace in at some point. Is he going to be able to catch those guys as is? You know, we're going to go ahead and start harvesting a little bit here. I need to get him above a certain point. We're going to go neutral. I probably dropped you too low as well, I'm assuming. And the same thing with you. We're going to go down to standard. We're going to go down to balanced. And we need to do, need to do a little bit of harvest here. Which does mean Red Bull's going to pass us, but that's okay. picking up fast as lap. Tell me what else is new. We've done that how many times? I'm not going to do a full harvest. I just want to do enough of a harvest to be able to do a full ERS each lap. Which we might be there already. It's hard to tell. Let's go ahead and do... We'll go back to neutral here. We're going to see if that's enough. Do neutral with you as well. Alright, now at this point we just got to settle in and see what we can do. Now if these two guys ahead of us are going to pit at some point... We're in a good spot to take, you know, top three. I think I think Red Bull is definitely in, going to be problematic here. I don't know that we... You know, we have to have a really good strategy to be able to pass him. Uh, now that we're behind him, we are going to go ahead and harvest with Theo. Red Bull gained a place. I assume Red Bull is closing on Oliver. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Good on them, I guess. We do need to make sure we're very careful here to not lose this DRS, though. It's very important for Theo to stay right on at Red Bull's tail but also milk as much harvest as we can. All right, Oliver is gaining on first and second. Um, at the rate it's going right now, if they don't pit, he might still catch them. Good pass there. Guess we'll go back to neutral for a bit. Will you pass us again? Nope. You're going to pass us anyway. It's alright. I wanted to keep harvesting anyway. Yeah, go ahead and stay ahead of me. I'm okay with that. Yeah, Oliver within seven and a half seconds. Good stuff. 40% chance of rain here at the end. I don't think we're actually going to get any, but it's interesting. Oliver almost within six and a half seconds, so he's definitely, definitely making some gains here. All right, you're within a good spot here. Let's go ahead and put you back on neutral. Sorry, I keep having to mute. My allergies are bad today. I'm just going to settle in here. I'm going to be, I'm still going to continue to be patient here, I think. I mean, the other argument is that if I pass Red Bull, do we have do we have a better chance of catching Oliver, you know, and, the, and basically the group up here than Red Bull does? Although, if we're only staying we're staying within three seconds, three ish seconds of Oliver, and he's closing that gap, then eventually we will catch the top group as well. And it does very much look like they are not going to be planning on pitting, uh, which might be to our advantage, because if we can catch them, we will pass them, because we're just at this point faster than them. I don't like this back and forth with Red Bull here. Other Red Bull car is next. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna get they're gonna get a lot of points, just like us. I mean, a lot of points, a lot of points relative to the other teams, right? They're they're in the points like we are. I was hoping he would be stay further down, but that's just not gonna happen, right? And Red Bull is so good. They're right there on our tail, even after a DRS zone there. And a new position. We can see Oliver now. Williams. Can Oliver see the other guys? Uh, not quite, but he's very much closing the gap. 
He's not going to have any ERS to be able to do anything, but at the rate he's going right now, it's not going to matter. We do still have a lot of fuel left that we can definitely dump. There we go. So here we can see the guys now. In fact, up oh, there they are. They're, one of them's pitting. Okay. Well, then he's done. Like, there's no way he, he catches back up. Not with pitting right now. This late in the, in the game. If, if Mercedes is going to pit as well, on some ways it's unfortunate because I'd like to get behind him and milk some harvest. Um... But at the same time, it just means that it's just us and the one Red Bull car competing here. Uh, should be this next lap that we catch him, I think. We're right on the line with our, our tires, so I don't know if we want to push him really that much unless we're in a very good passing spot. Uh, we should catch him here and get on DRS for the next set, which will be good. All right, if we get this under around half a second or so, yep. I'm going to go ahead and start harvesting now. I mean, there's a good chance we pass him even while harvesting because we are, like I said, I mean, he's drained on his tires, 36%. Oh, he came out on softs, Mr. Alphatari guy. Lots of guys came out on softs. Interesting. All right, so we did pass him while harvesting. Not a huge surprise there. Uh, we could just go back neutral and we are faster than him and just keep pushing this. And that's probably okay. Okay, if he passes again, that's fine. We'll we'll just harvest a little bit more. We're still early in the we still got enough time left in the race to not stress this. I do think we could push this though. Like on neutral, we push that to four hundredths of a second. I think we could push this to a full second if we come out really, really strong. If he's still behind us after this next one, we might do that. Uh, Theo, are you going to be able to catch him? Actually, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and go aggressive and go ahead and go push and see if you can catch him. Because we'd like you to be right behind him if at all possible here. Not quite for this next one, unfortunately, but he will be for the one after that. All right, if we keep him behind us here, it's crazy that Red Bull passed us even while we're... Oh, because we didn't have DRS yet. He does. Okay, fair enough. All right, we're going to go ahead and go full attack. We're going to go full push. And we're going to go full deploy. We don't have enough deploy, but we're going to do a little bit of deploy here. We just need enough to try and push this gap here. Uh, you are going to... We're going to go back to standard. We're not in a spot where I want to quite push just yet, I don't think. I want to see what Oliver can do first. He's not quite going to be getting that second, unfortunately. Mm, he's still got a little bit of deploy left. All right, let's go back to neutral. We might have drained it too much. Keep the fuel, keep the tires going pretty heavy here. Oh, he pit. Okay, that's interesting. For the moment, we're a couple seconds ahead of Red Bull, but obviously that's not going to stay. Do we want to go ahead and pass you here? I wonder if it's still too early. I mean, the best thing that might happen is to let Red Bull get ahead of us and get some more harvesting with Oliver here. Because he's going to catch us no matter what, right? So he is going to catch no matter what. Let's go ahead and settle back in. We're going to get, let him pass us. Theo's in a good spot to be able to do a full full overtake. Because what we want is to pass with both of these guys and leave him in third place. Uh, that's really what the end result we are looking for here. Track rubber high. Track grip high. I mean, his tires are in a better condition than ours. So that is giving him a bit of an advantage there, obviously. Now, what do we do if he never passes us up there? You know, let's force the issue. Let's, let's harvest. Because one of two things will happen. Either he passes us, and we want the harvest anyway, or he doesn't pass us. And we need to be able to defend against him in the last lap. So we've got to get some harvest done no matter what. I think it's inevitable that he does eventually pass us if we wait long enough. It's just, uh, and I don't want to be left with nothing over here. All right, he passes us here. That's okay. Or does he? 
You're waiting for the next one? Mm, you're gonna let me pass? I mean, with me over here, I'm blocking him from getting any passing. I guess delays the inevitable for a little bit longer. That's kind of interesting. Is this a full yellow flag? That's a spin. Full safety car yellow flag or just a... Okay, it was just a temporary, like, that sector. Because obviously that would be unfortunate this late. Okay, he got, he got us. That's fine. 100% okay with that for now. Continue harvesting a little bit, and then we'll we'll kick him into full high gear here. Um, Red Bull moves up. Do we want to do it lap 57, or do we want to wait till lap 58? Trippy thought I'd like one of them to pass on lap 57, the other one to pass on 58, and see if we can do enough of that, but I don't know. Stay a little bit patient here. In fact, I'm actually going to put you on harvest as well. We're going to make sure we have as much in the bank as possible. I think we can go ahead and go aggressive on the tires and obviously heavy on the fuel for the last two laps for sure. In fact, uh, that's fine. All right. Aggressive on the tires. Push on the fuel. Aggressive on the tires. Push on the fuel. Getting a pass while we're harvesting is fine. Real thing is that we need to actually get... We need to get past this guy on this next lap. Well, I don't know. I'm just worried it's too soon. Worried it's too soon. Okay, you're going to go back to neutral because you're fine. You're going to go back to neutral because you're fine. If he passes us here, is that the end of the world? I don't know. All right, we need to go full deploy with you because you're not going to have enough. I think we can get through. Yeah, no, that's fine. And you're going to go full deploy as well. Because... A lap and a half is enough. There's enough in here for a lap and a half. Oh, we gotta keep an eye on the fuel. Can we get past him? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think Oliver defends, but can Theo get past him? I just don't know. I mean, we got nothing else to lose. Let's go full attack at this point. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. We're gonna get the DRS. He's he's still gonna get DRS as well. But as long as we got got it, because if we got in front of him, no, we've slid if we got in front of him, so it didn't matter. Can we keep it going? Come on, go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? He's going to become strong. Ah. There you go. Sometimes patience works, guys. Oh! I just watched the other Red Bull car is in eighth. He's almost out of points. He's not going to get out of points, unfortunately, because the next car is four and a half seconds behind. But wow, he dropped a lot. He's only getting, what, one point? Good job. Good job, Oliver. First race in with Oliver. First place. Now, could, was that, is that some of that the new driver? Is some of that the fact that I changed the strategy a little bit and didn't push until the late part where the track grip was a little bit higher? I don't know. But uh, it could be a mixture of both. But it's really, really awesome to see our brand new driver, first race ever in this league, getting a first place finish. That's, that's huge. Good job, buddy. And Theo getting fastest lap. Cool. Uh... There's no points for fastest lap, though, sir. I think we already just decided that, right? Um, but it's still nice to get. We get some extra put money, right? So drivers, Theo's up there. Look at that. Oliver already in fifth place. Oliver is already ahead of of Doohan. One race. He's already ahead of Doohan after two races. Yeah, maybe we should have switched last year. I don't know. I think we would have fine last year. Last year, we were still trying to see who was going to actually win drivers. So we didn't want to switch too late. I think this was a good move, though. And then overall constructors, an eight point gap between us and Red Bull. I mean, at this point where there's very few points in the mix, eight points is starting to become a lot, right? We get that up to double digits, get to that to 20 plus points. That's really good. There's just not a lot of points to be had in the, in the league this year. Hey, we've had out a $10,000 bonus to Oliver for, 
for being top five. Actually, I think we paid a bonus to both, maybe. I can't remember if he's got a, on his contract. But that was awesome. I mean, I was getting a little bit worried with Duhan struggling, struggling. It is so awesome to see Oliver come out here and just be str that strong. I'm happy. How about you guys? <laughs> you guys are probably like, you should have changed Oliver a long time ago. Um, but comparatively, Theo or uh, Duhan is, in theory, a better driver, you know, overall statistics, but it may be just the points in the wrong spots, right? Uh, the, the point distribution really make, makes a difference as well. So, all right. Well, there we go, guys. Another rep eight race in the books. I'm excited about to see how Oliver does in this next one as well. Can we continue this, this move? We're going to get more parts coming out as well. I'm happy so far, but the low number of points definitely means not a lot of wiggle room to make mistakes. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.